Good morning, YTPC. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. It is Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week, two days down, one, two days to go before the weekend is upon us. Hope everybody's doing well. It is raining here with the chance of some severe weather coming through later on today. Preferably it would not be anything too severe, but it's that time of the year here in SC, and so we're going to play it by ear, hunker down and get through it. This morning, I am smoking my Ben Wade straight billet. And the tobacco I am smoking is an aromatic. Well, no, I take that back. It's not an aromatic, it's a flavor. Uh, this is peppermint mocha. And it is surprisingly good. Uh, you can definitely, upon smelling the tobacco in the jar, and I did my own little travel jar. Very strong smell with peppermint, aroma of peppermint. You can definitely smell the mocha. And as I said before, I'm not a big peppermint fan when it comes to food flavors. I don't like peppermint patties. I don't like, uh, I will uh, eat and just for, you know, maintain my breath, peppermint, uh, peppermint lifesavers or peppermint, um, you know, candies to, um, to keep breath, my breath fresh and everything, but I'm not a big peppermint person, like when it comes to cooking with peppermint or using it as a flavor in food, I'm not really that big of a peppermint fan. So I was taking a chance on this particular flavor tobacco, but I said I'm going to give it a try, do a little bit of review, and uh, see what happens and whatnot. So again, uh, smelling it when I had it in the bag, I mean, it overtook my car and whatnot, because I had brought, uh, I think, a peppermint thin mint peppermint mocha and something else but when I put it in the pipe first draw as I'm lighting it you definitely get that cool peppermint taste and feeling as it's coming over your tongue uh, then secondary that mocha hits you and it's a nice balance uh, I did add about a half an ounce of BCA just as a cooling factor because I know in the past when it comes to smoking um, flavored tobaccos for the most part I would always get tongue bite especially if I'm smoking uh, cherry cherry very cherry I just knew tongue bite was coming down the road but um, I've learned to put some I use BCA as a cooling factor and I haven't had that problem uh, for a while, for quite a while. I haven't had tongue bite for quite a while. So, uh, 
added a little bit of BCA to the um, peppermint mocha and just kind of use it as a cooling factor and it's worked out so far. Uh, again, you can kind of, when you're light, you say, oh yeah, I can, I can taste the, I can feel the tongue bite um, possibility, but it actually doesn't. And with flavor, normally I do not pull hard, nor do I pull frequently. I just kind of just take my time, just taking rhythmic pulls off the pipe. That way, I don't increase too much heat. Try to keep a balance between uh, not producing too much heat and also uh, producing enough to where the tobacco will stay lit. Uh, this tobacco is a moist tobacco, so it's not. It's definitely not dry. So that's probably why I'm having to relight it several times as, I, as I'm talking. Retro Hell is a cool blast of smoke. It's that peppermint. I didn't see that coming. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. Definitely you get a cool rush with the Retro Hell. Uh, definitely one where if you have sinus, Sign says it may open it up a little bit. Um, it's not bad. It's not a. Um, it's not a bad reaction. It's just something I'm not used to. When I retro hell with uh, non peppermint flavored tobaccos, but um, it's refreshing. It took me by a shock at first, but it is refreshing. I can see myself continuing to retro hell uh, this pipe tobacco. I have to get used to it, so I can definitely see myself continuing to retro hell. So again, cool on the retro hell. Definitely can taste the flavor of the peppermint. The mocha plays a back door, plays a behind the scenes uh, flavor. Uh, there's a, definitely a coolness in the retro hell. The uh, room note in the car is great. It's not overpowering. Tobacco being one that I would smoke on a fairly hot day because um, it has that cooling of the uh, peppermint, so it kind of gets in, the, uh, in your nose and your retrohale, and it kind of cools everything, it cools everything down. So I recommend if you're into flavored tobacco, I do recommend the peppermint mocha. Uh, I, I picked up this uh, tobacco at the Watery Tobacco Company in Lugo, South Carolina. I believe they do mailings. So I'll have to get the uh, address and put that in the, uh, provide that in my next video. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you this morning what I was smoking. My Ben Wade pipe made in London, England. And I believe this is a, is a Shamden or a Smamden. I think it's a Shamden, but I can't read the uh, small imprint on the, uh, 
the shake of the pipe. Great smoking pipe, I've had this for quite a while. I picked this up when I really started to get into uh, smoking uh, the straight pipes, but mostly I, I love my bent pipes. But I uh, started smoking this here, and this is one of the, the beginners that I've had for several years. So I will pull this out from time to time, and I thought that this would be a great pipe to enjoy uh, the peppermint mocha. said and done. Have a great Wednesday, a blessed Wednesday. Take care, be productive, be blessed, bless somebody else. Stay safe, get vaccinated, all that great stuff. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next go-round. Until the next time, this is your man, the Omega Forever. Be good, stay well.